Greetings, everybody. Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackbird, and today we're going to go over using the swatches panel. Now, it should be right next to the color panel if you didn't mess uh, around and move, remove it or anything like that. And it says swatches on it, and if you don't have it, go to a window and then come down here to swatches. So what swatches are is just a group of a bunch of different pre-picked colors. And you can have the ability to create new swatches, which is just a single color. And you can create like certain groups of them and save them and just have like a recurring color palette for you to use when you're working on some design projects and things like that. So like when you're working on like creating somebody a logo or something like that, you can just have up in your swatches the three different colors that you're working with and be able to quickly choose between those so you don't have to keep on looking and um, using your um, eyedropper tool to keep on picking colors and everything like that. So what happens um, with these swatches is that right now you get start you get uh, loaded with a preset set of swatches and you can come up here and change them in this uh, in the options panel and then you have all these different um, types of swatches here and you can change the way that you view them. So we got small thumbnail, here's a large thumbnail and then you got your list here which tells you the names of all the different color swatches and then you can see now how they are listed and what they uh, are like or uh, what they are used for. So when you go to the small thumbnail you're kind of wondering why there's some of the same colors and things like that but you can see that in the list that some of them are RGB blue and one of them is the CMYK blue and pretty much you get a whole bunch of different things here's some pastels and lights and everything like that sorry if I was going too fast through those but um, you can come down here to um, check out or get different colors so if I come down to like solid coated Pantone or something like that you can hit append to add new or to add them to your current list of swatches. So if I hit append, I've gotten a new set of colors here. And um, to be able to uh, delete them, you can click on a swatch. So if I click on this one, it turns into a hand. If I click and hold, and then I can bring it down to the to the trash can here, and then that'll delete it. Or if I hold alt, you can see that the um, the icon turned into like a pair of scissors and I can just start clicking on things and it'll delete them like that. So holding all is the faster way. You can add single swatches by going into your color panel. Go ahead and pick a color, anything. I'll just stick with like bright red for right now. And if I hit this, um, like the new button, it's it's a, the create a new swatch from your foreground color button. And there I go. And you can name it and then it'll create it there for you. So I'll just name this super red or something like that. And hit OK, and it puts it right down at the bottom. Let's cut that out because it doesn't need to be there. And um, you can go ahead and if you start adding way too many swatches and everything, you can go ahead and like reset that by going up to the panel here, or the options, reset swatches. Replace the current swatches with the default colors, hit OK. And say changes to the current swatches, no. And then you got your basic ones that you had there all uh, at the beginning. So that's uh, how you do that. You're able to um, create your own sets. So if I wanted to just um, get rid of these, just get rid of these swatches. So many of them. I'll just pause it. Real. So I got rid of everything on there. Uh, I'll go ahead and just select a color. We'll just go black. There's one. This is black, and then I'll just select another color. Should have just stayed on red the first time. Red, okay. Now I'm basically building up my color swatches here. Then I could go ahead and save these if I wanted to. And it goes automatically to your color swatches folder and I could save that as red and black. Save. So I'll do something like uh, reset real quick. And then you can um, load up your swatches that you had there. Load. And they'll come into, into play there. So they append when you load, just so you know. Another quick way that you can add uh, swatches is uh, just move into a gray area on your um, photo sh on your swatches panel below all the colors and it turns into the paint bucket. If you click on it, you're able to just add a swatch quickly, which is pretty cool. Now let me look into the options panel and see if there's anything else to go over. Um, you can go to close to close out the uh, swatches panel, which I probably didn't need to show. It's probably self-explanatory. and. Um, you can oh you can go ahead and replace everything if you don't want every if you don't want the uh, swatches to append by loading you can replace everything and hit load that way you don't have all the default colors 
So I didn't have any uh, swatches pre-made, so I had to t delete them all by hand and then um, and then add these in before after I had the uh, swatches made. So thanks for that's going to be the end of this tutorial. So thanks for watching this one and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and learned a little bit about the swatches panel. Thanks everybody. Have a good day.